Welcome to the presentation on the elements of a map in geography with the help of a foldable bookmark. We will now view the elements of a map that are title, directions, scale, colors, and symbols. The title of a map highlights whether it is a neighborhood map, city map, a physical map for physiographic features or for relief features, and political map that represents countries, states, and cities. The next element of a map is directions. There are four cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west, further classified into northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast. Maps are drawn with north at the top, indicated with an arrow and N. The third element of a map is a scale. The scale of a map is the ratio between distance shown on the map and the actual distance on the ground. For example, one centimeter is 200 kilometers. The fourth element of a map is color. Standard colors on a map are used for different features. A legend explains what each of the symbols you stand for. We have dark purple or dark blue that indicates deep waters like oceans and seas. Light blue for shallow waters as in lakes or rivers. Brown for high mountains. Orange for low mountains like hills. Yellow for plateaus and green for plains. The fifth element of a map is symbol. A symbol is a shape or a sign that is used to represent something. Standard symbols make understandings of map easier. For boundary between countries, we have a line, dot, line, dot, line, dot. For sea routes, we have lines. Then for boundary between states, we have thin line followed by a dot. In a, in a sequence, then we have for a capital of a country, we have a circle with a dot inside. For national highway, we have two red lines, which are parallel. PO stands for post office, a single red line for other roads. PS stands for police station. Then we have a railway line, again with a straight line and parallel vertical lines. Then for a bridge, we have two parallel lines and a zigzag zigzag formation for a river. Thank you for viewing this presentation on the elements of a map with the help of a foldable bookmark. I hope you found it useful in the geography lesson.